Hey, what's up guys? This is MJ. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So, as you guys know, I have had this card in my computer for since 2016. This is the GTX 750 Ti. And it's been pretty good. It's a pretty good graphics card. I mean, it's a hell of a lot better than the old graphics card that I used to have. That I used to have in my computer at first, but now I kind of wanted to upgrade. I wanted a little bit more performance. So I decided to buy a GTX 1060, six gigabyte from Zotac. I wanted to buy a better one, a different one, a prettier one, but this is the cheapest one they could, I could find that wouldn't break my bank. It was like 320 Canadian dollars. And this, this sucker runs hot. It really does. But either way, so I've upgraded from a GTX 750 Ti to a GTX 1060. So today what I want to do, I want to do some benchmarks. I'm going to show you guys my benchmark results on the 750 Ti and on the GTX 1060. And as you guys may know, I have an Intel Core i5 in my computer right now. This is an i5-3570. So it is a really kind of an old chip. Came in, out like in like 2012 or something like that. I'm not sure. I can't remember off the top of my head. But we're just going to do a little benchmark and I'm going to show you guys the results. I'm going to test two things. Two things. Alright. One. Does the 3570 bottleneck the 1060? And two, how much of a big upgrade is it if you upgrade from the 750 Ti to the 1060? So let's just get right into the results. First game we are testing is Project Cars. Now this game sees a huge leap in performance, over twice the performance with an average of 62 FPS on the 750 Ti and an average of 134 on the GTX 1060 which is a really really nice improvement and the lows are improved too which, with a low of 37 FPS on the 750 Ti and a low of 96 FPS on the 1060 and when I was benchmarking these I was playing in the dark in the rain on on this track so it's a pretty stressful test but it passed very nicely Next up is Grand Theft Auto 5 in high settings and you guys can see that there is a slight improvement with an average of 68 FPS on the 750 Ti and an average of 85 FPS on the GTX 1060. The minimum FPS was 0 on the 750 Ti because it was stuttering and freezing and lagging and it was just not great. I had the textures in high too so it would stutter a lot because there's not really that much VRAM. This is like two gigs of VRAM on the 750 Ti. But the 1060 pulled ahead, and although the minimum was 11, it's still better than zero. So I would say it's a pretty good improvement. I can now run Redux as you've seen it in the background, and it looks pretty good. So I guess that's a good plus in my book. Another game that improved significantly was Fortnite. In max settings on the 750 Ti, the average FPS was 32 FPS. On the GTX 1060, the average is 89 FPS in max settings. Which, hey, every FPS counts in this game because this game's really competitive. Not like I play it, but I, I just have it on my computer. But either way, another really good performing game on the 1060 and it, it runs okay. It runs. It doesn't run like crap now. Now on to the worst performing game on this list. My Summer Car. Max settings. 750 Ti runs 36 FPS. On the 1060, it runs 32 FPS on average. Which, that's not an improvement at all. It actually got worse. So, I don't, I'm not sure how that happened. But, it's probably bottlenecked by my i5-3570 since it's an older chip it's an older CPU so it doesn't really doesn't really match up with the 1060 I've seen benchmarks with the 1060 playing my summary car in max settings and 
they get buttery smooth 60 FPS but I get this really beautiful 32 FPS maybe I should put in my 750 Ti to play my summer car <laughs> I, I don't know whatever this is weird I'll probably have to upgrade my computer again or, or something I don't know it's I'm really disappointed I don't know if you can tell but I really am it's very disappointing now on to American Truck Simulator in max settings. On the 750Ti it runs an average of 50 FPS and on the 1060 it now runs an average of 60 FPS which is a pretty nice improvement and it, it runs a lot, it's a lot smoother to drive now. It doesn't lag as much. I mean in some situations I see it go like kind of low, like lag a lot. But it's never really anything that's insane. But it's not really much of a graphics upgrade. It's not really a huge performance leap, if you ask me. It's really not much because my processor is not that powerful, and it's 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 bottlenecking the 1060. So you know, there's nothing really I could do except upgrade. But. Either, either way, it's still a nice, smooth experience, so I can't really complain too much. Now on to the last game, which is PUBG in high settings on the 750Ti. It runs an average of 37 FPS, and on the 1060, it runs an average of 84 FPS, which is very, very good. It's a very nice improvement, and the CPU wasn't really bottlenecking this game too much and it, it just feels a lot better. It really does feel like an improvement. I mean, this game was never really that well optimized, but over the, over, the, over the years, they've optimized it a little bit better and it runs a lot nicer. And with the 1060, it, it runs really good. I can run this game in max settings with over 60 FPS, with no problems, and it just, it just runs good. It feels like, it feels really nice and yeah, that's all I got for you. So, those are the results. As you guys saw, the results came out. They came out alright. They came out. Eh, it wasn't. It, honestly, considering that I spent 300 bucks on it, um, it. It was a little bit of an oop <gasps> to me. Because, especially my summer car, always ran like crap. And. You know, I saw a lot of benchmarks with the 1060 running my summer car, and it runs in a smooth 60 FPS, and and it ran exactly the same on the 1060 as it did on the 750Ti, which is kind of like what the fuck? It's like that's one of the first games I tested as soon as I popped that thing in, and didn't do anything so I do believe that it is really a CPU bottleneck right here because even when I'm testing games like BeamNG Drive um, it runs doesn't run that much better it really runs the same I get the same amount of FPS maybe maybe like 15 FPS more I know I didn't benchmark that game I probably should have but it's really not that much of a of an upgrade I mean it, it really is I mean it runs smoother in American Truck Simulator and I could run it in higher resolution but because my processor the i5-3570 is not that strong it kind of bottlenecks the 1060 and limits it to what it can do but some games that are more on the graphics end those really improve a lot such as Fortnite Fortnite ran like absolute garbage on the 750Ti and the 1060 it runs buttery smooth in max settings and epic settings it runs perfect absolutely perfect and it doesn't really stutter too much well, actually a lot of the games that are more CPU bound such as GTA 5 they stutter a lot I mean the graphics are fine 
Okay, I could run it in max settings and it runs okay, but occasionally it stutters or when I'm playing GTA 5, when I'm loading it up, the map inside Franklin's house is kind of gone. It's like completely disappeared. It's like just loading in. So I do believe that it is, in fact, a CPU bottleneck. Um, I don't know what, what I can really do about it. Um, can't really do much because it's an old it's an old processor I don't have a motherboard that can overclock it's just a it's just a b350 motherboard it's a cheap motherboard I'm kind of getting mixed up here but 750 ti great graphics card I would still recommend buying it if you can find it that is you can't really find these on Amazon anymore you have to probably get them on eBay but reason why I wanted to get the 1060 is to get into VR and I don't have a VR headset yet I'm too broke of course but when I start VR I will definitely be recording it but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video and this video did give you some good information make sure to smash that like button and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.